Seasons are colliding. Thanks to the supply chain shortages that we're seeing in this country, my grocery stores have just gotten some of the uh, Pop-Tart flavors that have been released over the past few months. So I've got all three here that I've been looking for finally. I've got the Peach Cobbler, Frosted Chocolatey Churro, and Sugar Cookie. So we've got Summer, we've got Halloween, and we've got Christmas all together. to be goblin destin goblin here this is where i will try a food product of some kind and decide whether or not i should give it my destin goblin seal of approval <laughs> all right pop tarts has come out with several new flavors over the past few months and like i said thanks to the supply chain shortages that we have been seeing my grocery stores just got a couple of these these are the peach cobbler flavor this was part of the summer products that came out from pop tarts there was a mango i think there might have been a lemonade never found those but i finally did find the peach cobbler uh, then for halloween we had the frosted chocolatey churro uh, so these are still out there They're, these are appearing now on my grocery store shelves and now we are starting to see the the christmas things coming out already we've got sugar cookie cookie flavor these are 380 calories for uh, two pastries the uh, peach cobbler are 380 calories as well and the frosted chocolatey churro are 390 for two calories or two for 390 calories for two pastries there we go two calories would be great wouldn't it all right so these are the peach cobbler i'm gonna go ahead and open these up and then i'm gonna go ahead and toast these up and uh, we will see what the flavor is like after we get everything all set and ready to go here so there's the peach cobbler you can see it's got that nice peachy coloration on it so looking forward to that one let's open up the frosted chocolatey churro now these actually have different designs on them so we will see um, what kind of uh, design we get in our package that we open up here so um there's one of those frosted chocolatey churros and the other one has a different design on it so there we go i'm going to toast one of those up as well and you can see the uh different designs are shown here on the back of the box so very festive uh back of the the box there let's open up the sugar cookie looks like these have a lot of different types of um designs on the 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 pastries themselves as well so let's see what these look like and uh, sugar cookie that was a big flavor last year and a lot of the sugar cookie products let me down last year so we'll see how these go so it's kind of ironic that the first one i pull out says snowman fail i felt like a lot of sugar cookie fail was going on last year so we'll see and then we've got christmas lights fail so everything is a fail here i guess uh, i'm gonna go ahead and um toast some of these up and then we'll get started on the tasting all right i've got my pastries all nice and toasted um, i'll give you a closer look in a second and you'll be able to see i've got a nice little brown edge on some of them uh, now remember uh pop tarts usually recommends that you put your toaster on your lightest setting put it through one cycle um, I always say know your machine, know your toaster, and kind of set it to your preferences as well. I like to toast mine a little bit longer. Um, I, I do like mine a, a little bit crispier. But then again, Mrs. Goblin will tell you, I like my toast, my regular bread toasted a little bit more than most people do as well. So it's a personal preference thing, however you uh, prefer to have your, your Pop-Tarts. I've got Monster Mug here loaded with some fresh cold water as a palate cleanser in between um, I was gonna put some milk in there milk goes great with pop tarts but I'm doing a soda review right after this so I didn't think that was gonna be a great combination so I'm gonna go ahead and go in reverse order here remember we have the summer flavor we have the fall flavor and then we have the winter flavor here I'm actually gonna start with the winter flavor that is the sugar cookie so there you can see I've got that little bit of a, a toasted edge 
um, on that. They're a little bit more toasted than uh, some people might prefer their Pop-Tarts. But I'm going to go ahead and try the sugar cookie flavor of Pop-Tart. This one is out now for the Christmas season. If you're hearing some scratching in the background, the cats are playing with some of their toys. So it might be a little noise in the background here. Not impressed with that first bite. Well, like so many of those sugar cookie products last year that I tried um, last Christmas season, this one says snowman fail. I'm going to say Pop-Tart fail on this one. There's nothing in this that tastes like sugar cookie. There's not much flavor at all in this one. Kind of disappointed in this one. And coming off of that mystery flavor with the everything bagel, those were just horrible. This one doesn't give me uh, much confidence in Pop-Tarts. We'll see how the other ones go. Just one more bite. Yeah, that, that's kind of a disappointment. Um, if you can only get one of these, maybe not that one. Let's cleanse the palate. Not much to cleanse it from, though. Frosted chocolatey churro. There we go. There, I got the uh, nice little brown marks on there. A little bit more toasted. There we go. Nice toasting on the back. Mrs. Goblin loves churros. Wish she were here to try this one um, with me. I think she might like this one. Let's see what the chocolate flavor is like here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Now this is unique. This is good. Okay, the important thing on this one is that this is not just frosted chocolate. They're calling this frosted chocolatey churro. So you're going to expect a different flavor than just a chocolate Pop-Tart. That is what you get with this. You get a strong chocolatey flavor, but you also get an undertone of kind of cinnamon uh, and maybe some other spice in there as well. But this has a great flavor. This is very reminiscent of eating a churro. Um, I'm going to have to say the sugar cookie, I don't think I'm going to give a seal of approval at all on that one. Really didn't care for that one at all. This one is a three-star seal of approval. This is very good. Good job, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> and one more to go. All right, this was the summer flavor. This is the peach cobbler. There was a mango, and I can't remember. I think the other one might have been banana cream pie or something, or lemon meringue pie or something like that. I was really looking forward to these summer flavors. Never found them anywhere. And finally, this peach cobbler just showed up in my grocery store. So let's give this one a shot. Looking forward to this one. Mmm. This one's interesting too. The filling on this one is a little it's a little thicker than usual. You can't really notice it there, but you definitely notice it when you take a bite. And that gives more of a, a flavor punch. And it also feels a little bit more like um a preserve, more like a jam in there than just the regular Pop-Tart filling. Um, and then, of course, with the the pastry itself, if you're talking peach cobbler, you're going to have those little bread pieces, the, the little breading uh, in the cobbler itself, and the pastry uh, uh, replicates that. So good job on these. The peach flavor is nice and strong on this. If I didn't know better, I'd almost say that there were pieces of peach in there. I'm sure there aren't, but um, texturally, it almost feels like there are little chunks of peach in there. Another three-star seal of approval. Good job. All right, there we go. Three new types of Pop-Tarts. You may be able to find all three. You may only find those uh, sugar cookie. Uh, it all depends on 
what's happening with your grocery stores and what they're able to get. So check out your stores, pick these up while you can, and I will catch you next time.